What's going on, Fight Fans? This is Matt yeah. from Sport.com. I'm uh, going to put down my predictions for UFC on versus 2, John Jones versus Vladimir Matoshenko. I'm going to do two videos, one for the preliminary card and then one for the main card. Uh, first fight on the main card, we got Takanori Gomi versus... Uh, Tyson Griffin, the original opponent was Joe Daddy Stevenson, injured his knee in training, and uh, Tyson Griffin was the replacement. Uh, both these fighters are wrestlers. Gomi's 31-6. and six. He's coming off a loss to uh, Kenny Florian in the UFC fight night, Florian versus Gomi. Tyson Griffin, 14-3. Uh, and three. He's coming off a loss at UFC 115 to uh, Evan Dunham. Um, Gomi... He's known for being a slow starter lately, is uh, widely revered as one of the best lightweights in the world a few years ago, still considers himself the pride uh, lightweight champion. Granted, he's about the only one since how the company is defunct. Uh, then we have you know Tyson Griffin, who has been a solid staple in the lightweight division in the UFC. Uh, never really worked his way up to a title shot, you know, always kind of just one win away type thing. You know, he dropped the fight to Sean Shirt and then put up a few wins and then dropped the fight to Evan Dunham. But, you know, he's a stud. He's a great wrestler. He's got some notable wins over Hermes Franca, um, which he knocked out after being criticized for not, you know, finishing fights. Um, Uriah Faber, Rafael Dos Anjos, uh, Marcus Aurelio, Dwayne Bang Ludwig. Um, Gomi actually also has wins over uh, Ludwig and Aurelio. In this fight, I think that uh, Tyson Griffin's probably just going to be a little too strong for him, a little too quick, and a little too dominant. Um, I mean, it's possible that he finishes Gomi, but I, I kind of see this one grinding out to a decision. So I'm going to go Tyson Griffin is going to win the fight via unanimous decision. Uh, second fight we have on the card is John Howard versus Jake Ellenberger. Uh, Ellenberger is a wrestler from Nebraska. He's a uh, you know he's a stud wrestler. He's also a, a you know he does pretty good stand up. He's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy. He's coming off a win over Mike Pyle, which uh, UFC 108, I believe, he finished him TKO. And uh, before that, he, he dropped the fight to uh, Carlos Condit, which was his UFC debut. Um, tough, tough fight with Carlos Condit. I think the fight could have went either way. It was a split decision. Uh, real, real tough wrestler. Like I said, he wrestled in Nebraska. He's 22-5 and five in his MMA career. Uh, you know, So granted, this is only his third fight in the UFC, but you know he's no newbie you know he's no rookie to the game he kind of knows how the mixed martial arts things work then we have um he's fighting john howard who's 14 and 4 he's currently on a seven fight win streak um four fights in the ufc including wins over daniel roberts tamden mccrory uh dennis hallman and chris wilson not in that order uh his most recent win was over roberts at the um, Vera versus Jones, which I believe was the first fight that they had on versus. Um, you know, he's a Muay Thai Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy. I just think that Ellenberger is going to be too strong for him. And I think that somewhere late in the second round, his um, over aggressive wrestling and his, his ground and pound is, is probably going to put John Howard in for a quick night. Uh, I think it's probably going to be Ellenberger via KO or TKO late in the second round. Um, you know, in that fight, you know, to remain on that fight for a minute, it's a real tough fight. Both these guys are up and comers, and um, you know I wouldn't see it surprised, or excuse me, I wouldn't be surprised to see it go the other way. It's just uh, I just think Ellenberger is a stud, and um, he works really hard. He's he's got really good wrestling. Um, his takedowns are really hard to stuff, and then when he gets you down, you know he beats the shit out of you. So uh, you know nothing against John Howard, and if he wins the fight, you know I wouldn't be surprised at all. Um, the next fight after that, we have Yushin Okami versus Mark Munoz. Uh, Munoz kind of, you know, had some steam into the, you know, from the WEC, and he kind of came into the UFC with a bang, you know, a lot of expectations. He knocked out Chuck Grisby in, a, you know, a pretty highlight real fashion. Uh, he came in, fought Matt Hamill, in my opinion, was winning the fight against Matt Hamill, and then the head kick <laughs> you know the head kick put him to sleep he trains with uh, hammer house he's eight and one the head kick loss is the only loss he's also uh, you know a purple belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu and a stud wrestler he went to you know same college at uh randy couture uh, oklahoma state he is currently on a three-fight win streak with wins over kendall grove ryan jensen and uh, nick catone 
the Kendall Grove fight was TKO due to strikes. Uh, Ryan Jensen, he subbed him out. Not sure what the submission was. That was at UFC 108. And then uh, he had a, a good fight with Nick Catone. It was a close split decision. And uh, he's fighting Yushin Okami, who's been a main staple in this middleweight division in the UFC for years. You know, he holds a win over uh, Evan Tanner. He holds a win over Dean Lister, uh, Lucio Lajares, and also Anderson Silva. Not too many people can say that. Um, he's coming off the win over Lajares. After that, he was dominated by Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen just grinded out a three-round uh, unanimous decision with his Greco-Roman wrestling. Um... Now, Munoz isn't a Greco-Roman wrestler, but somebody who's as crafty on the ground. He trains with the Nogueira Brothers of Black House along with Anderson Silva. Um, he also trains with Leona Machida, you know, and I kind of think that Silva's probably going to be in his ear in this one, you know, seeing how Silva has never really, you know, conquered that loss. Granted, let, let me set the record straight. It wasn't, um, you know, uh, a dominating win over Anderson Silva. It was an illegal kick disqualification. You know, Anderson Silva threw an illegal kick, and then so when I say he's got a win over Anderson Silva, you know, I don't want you to think that you know he dominated Anderson Silva and then you know just beat the brakes off him. That wasn't the case overall. But a win is a win. He still holds a win over Anderson Silva, and Anderson Silva being the kind of guy he is, you know, that gets to him. And um, like I said, I think he's going to be in Munoz's ear and um, you say, hey, you know, he can do this, he can do that. You can outpoint him here, and um, you know any pointers you can get from anybody in that camp, especially the Nogueira brothers and Leona Machida as well, I, th I think you got to take and run with it. Um, and not to mention Junior Dos Santos. So uh, I think that he's just going to be a little bit too strong. Not that Yushin Okami isn't strong. He's got a big, you know, lean, strong frame. But uh, Mark Munoz is, you know, a Filipino wrecking machine. <laughs> and uh, I think that he, if it goes a decision, it, it's a coin toss. You know, but I always like to pick one upset. And, and kind of outlandish fashion. So I think Mark Munoz is going to finish Yushin Okami. I'm going to go Mark Munoz, TKO, second round. Uh, then we got the main event. We got Vladimir Machushenko versus John Bones Jones. Uh, John Jones is coming off a brutal destruction of Brandon Vera, which is a solid win. I mean, Brandon Vera uh, is a stud. You know, John Jones is a Greco Roman wrestler. He's a real good Muay Thai judo. Excellent. Excuse me, excellent unorthodox strikes. You know, he throws a lot of spinning back fists, elbows, flying knees, and stuff that people just aren't expecting. He, um, only loss on his career is to Matt Hamill, which, um, stupid rule and stupid loss. You know, technically in my book, he's 11 0, was dominating that fight. Was dominating that fight, and, um, he pretty much had the fight in hand, and he threw the 12 to 6 elbow. You know, and they had to stop the fight and, and give him the loss because Matt Hamill couldn't continue. Like I said, he, he, he's ran through Brandon Vera. He's got wins over Jake O'Brien, Stephen Bonner. And um, he's just a real, real tough kid, real unorthodox. And, he's you know, he's got a bright future in this sport and in this organization. He is fighting Vladimir Matyushenko. He's from Belarus. Uh, he's the former IFL light heavyweight champion. He fought in a he fought in affliction. Excuse me. He's a prior veteran of the UFC. He's on a three fight win streak. He's got one over Igor Pakjerovic, Elliot Marshall, Jason Lambert. Um, he's got a win over uh, Little Nog, Jamal Patterson, Alan Belcher, Tim Bosch. You know, I mean, he's fought Tito Ortiz. He's fought Andre Arlovsky. You know, he's fought Nogueira twice. Um, you know, so he's got wins over some good people, and he's got experience fighting good people. He's not going to be a pushover. You know, I just think that the striking is going to be way too unorthodox for Vladimir to handle. And, um, you know, John's Bones Jones is a stud. I think he's deserving of a title shot right now before this fight. You know, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I personally think that Bones is going to put him away, you know, late in the second round, um, maybe into the third. But... It all depends on, on how much Matryoshenko engages. So, I mean, to put out an official prediction, I'm going to go John Bone Jones, TKO, second round. Um, Buddhasport.com, you know, the best up-and-coming MMA website on the Internet. And then uh, subscribe to my YouTube page. All right, guys. Take it easy. Appreciate it. Michigan plates and my name's on them, baby Shady's here, come and get him if you games want him But he ain't stupid, so we're trying to run them games on him He's immune to Cupid, why you trying to put your claims on him? Cause you ain't glued to me what you did to the last man